Happy day, and welcome to the Susan and Solis Homestead. Please like, subscribe, follow, and share. You never know what you're going to find. Today, here is the future bee house, chi house that we have on the homestead. It came with the property, and we're going to turn it into an observation hive and a meditation station. We'll fix it up, clean it up. We've already got some water and electricity out here. We just got to start the rest of it. A lot of potential. But today is an update. We used to have a beehive that, uh, a swarm trap that lived up here. So we made this little bee station for them and they were there for a while and they didn't seem to make it through the winter. So we left this box up here as a bee, um, another swarm trap because we find it easier instead of making some swarm trap that you have to transfer your bees to we just make a regular box and the swarm usually moves in and we keep them in that box and move it to a different location it really thought it was a nice place it was kind of cool to be up here but the hornets moved in interesting and there was these big I think eastern hornets you could see the other video uh, we used to have some cameras but something has shifted it on its frame and I think a raccoon has. So they don't seem to be here. But one of the things I did witness that I was just looking at are beehive over there. And in the sun, it's good to stand out there and watch your bees and see in what direction they're going for foraging and stuff. I don't think you could see it back there. You could see the sacred rhombus and the heart chakra. But, oh, there it is. All the way back there is the other hive. And then there's one in the front. But in the sunlight, you could see the bees glistening off. And hence, you can also see the hornets are picking bees out of the air. Uh, it's quite amazing. So I guess they moved out of somewhere and they're still here. Uh, we have guards on all of our beehives so that they can't get inside it. And we've never seen them decimating the entrance but uh, I do see them in the yard up in the air and then this is the first time I really took note of them being picking bees out of the air in their flight patterns they're standing about 10 20 feet away from the bees just past the fence tree line uh, maybe 10 to 20 feet high and they are picking off bees well have a fantastic day. Don't forget to come on back. Never know what you're going to find.